Hi Adam, uh, my name's Ian, uh, I'm one of the respiratory physiologists and we've got here for a cardiopulmonary exercise test today. I'm just going to check a few details if that's okay. So it's Adam Smith, uh, can you confirm your date of birth for me please? May 2001. Excellent. So the exercise test involves you kind of performing a maximal exercise test on the bike. We're going to monitor quite a few different things with you. We're going to have a mask on that's going to monitor your breathing. Um, we're going to have a blood pressure cuff on that's going to go up and down during the test little finger probe it's going to look at your oxygen levels and also your heart rate we're also going to have a 12 lead ecg on which is going to look at your heart rate and rhythm throughout the test as well so the test takes about about five or ten minutes to set up and about 10 15 minutes while you're actually exercising on the bike as well it is a maximal test so for you what you're trying to do as much as you can and the key for you is to do, put as much effort in because the more effort you put in the more accurate the results that we get okay so if you're happy to proceed, we're going to uh, pop the ECG stickers on first. So if we can, if you're happy just to pop your shirt off, just while we pop the stickers on, if that's okay. And so we've got 10 stickers all together. So it's going to pop some there. Some of these are a little bit cold. So then we're just going to attach these wires, which are going to Give us a recording for the ECG. So, how much exercise do you generally do, Adam? Um, I usually swim. swim. Right. Excellent. Okay. So, the reason we ask how much exercise you do, it just depends on how quick we're going to kind of ramp up the, the bike uh, resistance, essentially. Because we're aiming to get you within your maximum within about 10 minutes of cycling. Okay. Okay. Now for you, you're going to keep the uh, pace constant throughout the whole of the test and the way the test is going to get harder is by you're going, essentially going to cycle up a hill that's going to get steeper and steeper until you can't do any more. At the end of the test we'd expect you to be breathless um, and also your legs will be kind of feeling like they've done a lot of exercise towards the end. So I'm going to clip this onto here and if you want to you can pop your shirt back on there and then if you stand up for when you're ready, I don't know, that's right. So I feel comfy enough at that yep, uh, level there. Right, so we're ready to put you on the bike. So if you okay. pop over here, it's your easiest way to do it, if you hold onto the handlebars here, pop your right foot just onto black plate and step over that middle section onto there. And then if you shuffle your left foot probably into the, the handle in the bars there, into the pedal, sorry. Once then shuffle yourself upwards and backwards onto that seat. So we're a bit low to start off with. Um, if you keep your left foot right down at the bottom there, and I'm just gonna hire the seat up just to get it uh, to the right height for you to pedal. I'll let you have a quick practice in a moment to see whether you're happy with the, the height of the bike. So if you have a quick pedal around at that and see what you think. That's comfortable. You're comfortable, you want it higher with that? Okay, no, happy cool. enough with that, you can stop there and that's fine. So we're gonna pop a blood pressure cuff on here, so pop this left hand up there. Is it okay on your left arm with your blood pressure? Yeah, no arm. problem. Right, right position. Uh, no, it should be fine there, that'll be fine. So before we do the exercise test, we're going to do a quick breathing test just to get a measure of your um, breathing capacity at the moment. So this is what we call spirometry and it's going to measure the capacity, how much you can get in and out of your lungs but also how fast you can blow the air out as well. So what you're going to do in a moment, we're going to pop a mouthpiece in which is a little bit like a snorkel. You do a couple of normal breaths and you're going to take a really big deep breath in and you're going to blast the air out as fast as you can, but then I'm going to try and keep it going for as long as you can as well. So the mouthpiece wise, as I say, lips right over the top of the big flap, teeth on toes, little blocks in front. You're also going to have a nose clip on just to make sure you're getting everything through your mouth. So if I give you that just to hold on to the uh, Adam, lips, pop the mouthpiece in, lips are nice and tight. A little bit too far in, so drop that back back to back there, that's fine. It's probably still on a bit too far, just come off a second. So this bit, lips right over the top, teeth back on toes, little blocks right, in front. Then. So pop the corners in first, not quite in over the top on that one. That's it. That's fine. I'm just going to plug this back into the front a second. That's fine. Okay, you hold on to there. I'm going to pop this onto your nose. You're going to breathe normally, just in and out. Nice and relaxed. That's good. Nice and steady breathing. And then I want you to take a really big deep breath in as much as you can in. And blow. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Okay, I'm relaxed. Well done. That's fine. Okay, so good start. Well done. Come off and pop that out of your mouth there. So that was okay. I think we get a little bit faster and I want you to go longer as well. So it's as much as you can, as long as you can right out. Also at the start, really blast it as fast as you can at the beginning. So pop that nice piece back in. Yep, perfect. Onto your nose, so just normal breathing, nice and relaxed, just in and out to begin with, nice and steady. In and out again. 
And then that really big breath in and blow. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Push, 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 push. And relax. Well done. Brilliant. Excellent. You can come off there. I'll take that from you. Those two match nicely on there, so that's very good. So what we're going to pop on now is the mask. Now the mask has to be fairly snug, I'm afraid, because it has to record all your ventilation, breathing, the oxygen you're breathing in, your carbon dioxide you're breathing out. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come around this side. And if you just hold me the mask just in place, just there, I'm just going to put underneath your chin, that's it. This is then going to come up and over your head. So what you've got is a strap above each ear and a strap below. So I'm just going to bring these down, loosen these velcro fastens off a little bit. I'm going to tighten this up, as I say, it has to be fairly snug, I'm afraid. Not too tight, it's uncomfortable, but I'm making sure we've got most of the air coming in and out through that hole at the front of the mask. Now I'm just going to check how good a seal I've got. And it's going to feel a bit strange, I'm going to stop you blowing out just for one breath. So if you take a breath in for me, and then blow, that's fine, that's good. Just checking I've got a good seal on there. Okay. So we're going to pop a little probe on your finger as well, and so this one's going to look at your oxygen levels and also your heart rate on there. So one of your main three, I'll probably put on that one, that's fine. And there we go. For the start of the test, we're going to take two or three minutes of resting measurements with you while you're sat on the bike, so you don't need to do anything. Then what we're going to do is get you pedaling against no resistance, so it's going to find it really easy to begin with. It's as though you're going down a hill, okay? Your job is to keep it at a constant pace. Now the pace we're aiming for, this is zero at the moment because you're not doing anything. It's going to be 60, if you can keep around about 60 throughout the test. You don't have to be bang on 60, can be about 55, 65, somewhere around about the area. What I don't want you doing is going up to 40, or up to 80, down to 40. It's fairly constant throughout the whole of the test, okay? And it's just going to get harder and harder by you going up a hill. It's going to get steeper and steeper. At the end of the test, you want either your legs or your breathing to be maximal, okay? Unless you get any chest pain or any dizziness. If you do tap on the bars, I'll ask you a couple of questions. We'll see if we can continue. If not, we'll stop the test at that point. Okay, well we're monitoring your heart rate as well, just to make sure nothing changes uh, abnormally on the, on the heart rate rhythm and, uh, and rate on there. So this is going to plug into the front of the mask, this is going to record all your breathing. Plugs into the front just there. That's it. Okay. So feel okay, confident from the mask, yep. So start of the test, all we're going to do is get you just relaxed in there for two or three minutes just while you sat on the bike. So during the test, I'll not get you to talk too much just because it affects the uh, the breathing pattern a little bit. I'll probably ask you a couple of questions as we're going along. I'll ask you to nod or shake your head if you get any chest pain or dizziness. If there's none, we'll keep going as long as you can. All right, Adam, when you're ready, if you want to start to gradually spin your legs around, you're going to find it really easy to begin with, so don't go off too fast. All right, so I'm probably going a little bit too quick to start off. I'm just going to bring up to around about 60. I'm going to bring your arm up and over there a second. That's fine. So that's out of the way. And just gradually bring yourself in around about 60, that's good. That's what you're going to do. You can go a little bit faster if you find it a bit comfier faster, that's fine. But anyway, around about 60 is good on there. So you've got a couple of minutes at this, all you're going to do is keep going as you are there. There's no resistance on you, so you should find it very easy to begin with. So in a moment, I'm going to start to put the load on, so you'll feel a bit of resistance, but you're only going to gradually increase as you're uh, cycling along. All you need to do is keep going as you are. And so it's not an endurance test, you should be at maximum within about eight to ten minutes. You've already done a minute at this level, so probably another eight or nine minutes or so if you can. So you've done a couple of minutes already, Adam. Just a couple of questions, you know, chest pain or dizziness. Perfect, keep going then if you can, that's perfect. And again, same questions, just not a shake your head, any chest pain or dizziness. Keep going then, that's good, you're doing really well, keep that pace going. That's good, that's good. Not too much longer now, keep it going, last few minutes or so if you can, keep those legs pushing around, that's good. Keep it going, try and keep those legs pushing around, that's good, last a little bit now, keep it going. Keep going as long as you can. Keep going if you can though, keep those legs pushing, keep them going, keep them going, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep those legs pushing if you can, keep them going. Keep pushing, anything left, keep those legs going if you can. Keep going, keep going, push, push those legs if you can. That's a little bit, anything left, push those legs if you can. Keep them going, anything left, push, push, push those legs, keep them going. That about it, anything left. Okay, well done, keep your legs spinning very slowly. I've dropped the weight off, just roll them round. We're just going to do a bit of recovery. Just roll your legs around very slowly, I've took the weight off, just roll them round. The weight should have dropped off there, just nice and slow. Don't need to worry about the pace, just roll them round. Just watching everything, just settle back down again, Adam. So we're just going to watch you breathing for another minute. So I'll leave the mask on another minute, we'll pop that off. 
and then we'll just make sure your blood pressure and your heart rate comes down. So just a couple more minutes on the bike. Bring it around to a stop now, you can slow your legs, that's fine. I'm gonna pop the mask off. I'm just gonna leave you on the bike for the moment because I want to just keep recording your blood pressure and your heart rate, just to make sure everything returns back to resting. And then we're all done. How did you find that? That was okay. Okay, good, excellent. Oh, could I have a drink, please? Yeah, let you drink there. Have you drink there? At the end of the test, what stops you? Your breathing or your legs mainly? Uh, my legs. Legs. Excellent. And uh, quick question, I'm going to ask you about your breathing first. Not to 10 on how breathless you felt at the end of that test. Where would you say you were? Around a 4 or a 5. 4 or 5. You had to pick one between 4 or 5. How uh, prof 4. 4. Excellent. And uh, thinking about your legs, everything as a whole, how hard do you say you were working at the end point of that test? Around 14. 14. Excellent. So the heart rate's coming down nice. So just going to do your blood pressure once more. Excellent. So, you feeling okay? Feel okay? Yeah, excellent. I'm going to stop the test there then. Alright, just bear me one moment. I'm going to pop your blood pressure cup off. That bit. And just hold on a second just while I lower that seat down a little bit so it's easier for you to step off. When you're ready, you can slip your feet out of the, uh, the pedals there. And then come and grab a seat, we'll pop all those stickers off.